right, we're gonna continue with chapter eight and we're gonna be working on some skills. So again, we've worked on 8A, um, we're gonna work on um, 8B today. Um, and the first um, problem that we're gonna look at is a property. Um, we're gonna be using properties of parallelograms and one of the things on a parallelogram um, is that um, if I have a parallelogram and I know that it's a parallelogram, I know that opposite sides are congruent. So you'll see that I've got like a little hash mark here and a little hash mark here. Those two sides are congruent. And then I've got two hash marks here and two hash marks here. That means that those two sides are congruent. So opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Now what I'm gonna give you um, before we do some work time um, is I'm gonna give you a colored sheet of paper and we're gonna start making kind of a cheat sheet that has some of these things on it. So it'll give you something to study and something to use um, when you're working some problems in your assignments, okay? Um, you cannot use that colored sheet on a test or a quiz, but you can work, use it during a homework quiz or just doing your practice, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and let's look at this problem. Um, it solves for x and y. Um, don't worry about this piece right there. Um, but if I'm solving for x and y, and I know this is a parallelogram, I know that this side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side. So how would I go about setting up this problem? If I know they're congruent, I know that they're, they're equal to each other. That's right. So I'm going to take 6x plus 5 and I'm gonna set that equal to the 11y, okay? And then you're gonna notice the other two sides, I've just got x equal to y, okay? I still don't know any numbers. I, I don't have that yet. So what do I do with this information now to try to figure out what x and y are? What do you think? What are some ideas? Well, if I know that x is equal to y, what can I do? What are some ideas? Yeah. Could take out instead of 11 y, do 11 x. Absolutely. X. Absolutely. So I can take out the y that's right here and solve for x, or I could put a y in for x, couldn't I? Um, but I like your idea. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go 6x plus 5 equals 11x. Okay, that shows me a substitution. So you kind of did that in algebra last year. Um, now what do I do? Yes? Subtract 6 and 11. Sure. So I've got 5 equals 5x. So I subtracted the 6x. I divide. x gives me 1. Okay, I need to solve for y. What is that? It is y1 also because remember they're equal to one another. Okay. So it looks kind of scary because you've got an x and you've got a y. But when you find out that x is equal to y, it's actually not that bad. Questions on this? Okay, let's move on. Um, one thing I know too about a parallelogram is that opposite angles are congruent. So let's take a little bit closer look at that. Um, opposite angles, so like this angle would be con congruent to this angle, and this angle would be congruent to this angle because they're opposites of each other. Okay, that's going to be a really important thing to know as we are solving for some of our measures. So let's go ahead and use that information on this. So again, opposite angles. So I know this angle is congruent to this angle, and I know this angle is congruent to this angle. So to solve for x, what would be an idea that I could do? Yes? 2x equals 3x Very good. 2x equals 3x minus 50. So I need to solve for x. What do you want to do? 
Yeah. Um, add 50. Sure. Add 50. And then. Yeah. Um, subtract the two x. Yeah. So 50 equals x. Very good. That is not the only way to solve this. There is another way that you could do that. Um, you could um, subtract 3x and get a negative x and then divide by a negative 1. It would give you the same answer. Okay. Questions on this? All right. Let's take a look at another definition. Um, consecutive, oops, consecutive angles. Okay. Consecutive angles are angles of a polygon that share a common side. Okay, so let's take a look at that for just a minute. Um, let's say that I have this parallelogram, okay? Um, and I'm gonna name this one and I'm gonna name this two, okay? Those are consecutive sides. So one and two are consecutive. Um, I can call this three and this four. So one and two are consecutive, two and three are consecutive, three and four are consecutive, four and one are consecutive. If they're not opposites, they're gonna be consecutive, okay? So here is the next question. Um, what is the sum of the two consecutive angles? They're 180, yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, you'll notice that angle two and angle four are they're opposite, so they are congruent. So rather than a four, I could technically put a two. Okay, and if I take out the three, I could put in a one, right? How many degrees are there in a quadrilateral? 360, right? We learned that yesterday. So that only makes sense that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is 180 degrees. And so any consecutive pair of angles in a quadrilateral or a parallelogram, I should say, is going to be 180 degrees. Okay. Questions? All right, let's keep going. So we're gonna find the missing angles. There's quite a few here, all right? And then we're gonna talk about why. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna name them with um, numbers just to make it easier today. Um, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And then I'm gonna go measure of angle one equals the measure of angle. Whoop, that's not an angle. Measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two equals. The measure of angle three equals, the measure of angle four equals. And so we're gonna make a list, just so that you don't forget any. Okay, and then we'll talk about it. Now, just because I put the measure of angle one first, does that mean we have to solve for that first? No, that has nothing to do with it, okay? So let's take a look at this picture. Um, what would you like to solve for first? Yes. Nine. Yeah. Vertical angles plus 75. Very good. Nine is a vertical angle with 75. Okay, so measure of angle nine is 75 degrees, and we're gonna go um, vertical angles congruent. So if they ask you for a reason, don't just put vertical angles, but also put that they're congruent because something could also be supplementary or complementary. Okay. Very good. All right. So I got nine done. Now I've got to figure out some of the other ones. So what else do we want to do? I can even mark this up. That's done. Yes. Why? Correct. You can find them since you already have both of the 75s because they're doing the pair. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So he was saying that three and five are congruent, or I'm sorry, three and six are congruent because they're vertical angles, which they are. 
but I also have linear pairs. So angle three and 75 are a linear pair, which means they're supplementary. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off to the side. I'm gonna go the measure of angle three plus 75 equals 180. So the measure of angle three is gonna give me 105 degrees. So that's how you'd show your work. Don't just pull 105 out of thin air and go, look at me, I can do it, because I can't cut your head open and look inside, okay? So I'm gonna go three is 105. And I can go linear pair um, with um, angle um, 75 degrees. Okay, and then I like what he said too. He said angle six is also 105 degrees and I can go vertical angles. Very good. So you got a two for one on that. Awesome, okay. We okay with that? Questions? Am I going too fast? Okay, All right. So we got some more, some more of this done. So I've got this one done and this one done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So he's saying, I believe that this is 105, and that if I take the 105 and I add 45 and I add 7, they equal 180 because it's a triangle. Yeah. Yes, very good. All right, so the measure of angle 7 plus 105 plus 45 equals 180. The measure of angle seven plus 150 equals 180. The measure of angle seven equals 30 degrees. So seven is 30 degrees, and that is the triangle sums property. Remember that? If I add the angles of a triangle, it equals 180 degrees. Okay. Excellent. All right, that's seven. We're getting closer. Now what? Yeah. I could do the same thing for eight. Yep. So I can find this. And I can go um, put a line between them. Measure of angle eight plus 75, because that's the measure of angle nine. Okay, plus 70 equals 180. Um, so the measure of angle eight plus 145 equals 180. Um, the measure of angle eight I have is 35, is that right? Okay. And I'm gonna put a little ditto symbol there, <clears throat> if that's all right. Really important that you're writing this down in your notes because then you have an idea of how to do these. You're going to have one on your test like this. Okay? All right, got that done. Boy, you ate your Wheaties today. That's awesome. What's the next one? Uh, could you do the like, alternate exterior? Yeah, uh, not exterior, but interior. interior. Very good. Um, because we know they are parallelograms, and remember, um, we can do these symbols, which means they're parallel. <clears throat> this is going to help us out a ton. Okay, so which angles do you want to do with alternate interior angles? So what would be some... Oh, two, four, two, two would go with... Seven, right. So this angle right here would go with this one right there, two and seven. Um, so seven, we said, was how many degrees? 30. 30. So angle two is also 30. And uh, if parallel lines, then alternate, oops, then alternate interior angles congruent, right? Very good. Okay, what else? We can do some more alternate interior. Yes. 
Eight and four, that is correct. Um, so eight and four. Um, eight was 35, right? So four is 35. If parallel lines, then alternate interior angles congruent. Very good. All right. I've got two more angles I need to know. <clears throat> one and five. What do we got? Yeah. Um, you can do one and 45 as your alternate interior. Yeah. Very good. So 45 degrees um, if parallel lines then alternate interior angles congruent. Very good. You can do the same thing with um, 70 and 5. Um, so I've got 70 degrees, and I'm going to put the little ditto marks. Okay, very good. Yeah, so the, some of the things that we've done before when we did proofs, if parallel lines then, is coming into play with some of these problems. All right. Are there any questions on this? Okay. When you do an assignment, if it doesn't ask you to, to like prove it or do the reason, you don't have to write all that down. But I think this is good for your notes. So like if you're, now how did we get that again? You can go back to your notes, you can figure it out, and then you can see why. Okay, that's why it's, good notes are, are good to have. All right, let's move on. Here's another um, thing about parallel line, or parallelograms. The diagonals bisect each other. So um, let's think of it this way. Um, here is this wonderful little purple diagonal. He's all by himself. And the other diagonal's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to cut you in half. Okay? So the blue line diagonal cuts the purple diagonal in half. But while he's cutting him in half, he gets cut in half too. Okay? Um, so the blue line cuts the purple line in half uh, and vice versa. Okay? Um, so let's take a look at this problem. Um, and I'm going to mark it up because I think it makes it a little bit more visual for you. Um, so this is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this. Okay, so to solve for this, I'm going to grab 2a, and what is that going to be equal to? Because I'm tight. Five, yes. So I divide by 2, a gives me 2.5. And this would not be an angle measure. Okay, like the problem before, that was angle measure, so that would be degrees. This would be more like centimeters or inches or unit. Okay, and then let's take a look at the other one. I'm going to take 5x minus 2, and I'm going to set that equal to 4x. Thank you. Okay, how do I solve for this? Yeah? Add 2. Great. 5x equals 4x plus 2. X gives me two. Questions? Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a colored sheet of paper, and we're going to be writing down some of the things that we learned today, and then we'll be using those on your assignment tonight. 